North of Khartoum in the Sudanese Nile River state, the combat zone seems far away, but its destructive effects are deeply felt. The one-month-long fighting has deepened the humanitarian crisis in the country, where one in three people already relied on humanitarian assistance before the war. Farmers in the Al-Khala region are affected by fuel shortages. Donkey carts have become the only means of transport. Petrol is not available now, and the price has increased on the black market. People can't transport their vegetables. Our hearts go out to the armed forces. Hopefully, they will defeat those rebels so that this country will be rid of this rebellion. May God protect this country and all the regions of Sudan. According to the United Nations Humanitarian Agency, the price of basic commodities such as food staples and water has gone up by 60 percent or more due to supply challenges. This activist praises the resilience and solidarity of the people of the eastern state of Kasla. There have been attempts to take advantage of the crisis, but thank God the society in Kasla and the people that know each other have prevented exploitation and greed in the market. I hope the situation will return to normal. According to our intel, there are sufficient supplies of basic necessities in the Kasla state. As deadly fighting between the army and the paramilitary continues mainly in Khartoum and the state of West Darfur, so does the plight of the Sudanese people.